If you're looking for free stock image resources for your sports designs, I've got two for you. One is on Splash.com, the other is Adobe's free stock collection. Now for Adobe's free stock collection, you will need an Adobe account, but if you're using Photoshop and designing the way you should be, you probably have that. So like this was a resource that I didn't know I had access to until far too late. But basically if you go to stock.adobe.com and change this dropdown to free, you can type in anything you're looking for. So if we're looking for like a stadium photo, we'll type in stadium. And really Adobe's stock collection is far more expansive than unsplash.com. And so this is where I would go first, but if you don't have an Adobe account, Unsplash.com is still a great tool to use. Adobe's free collection is also great for textures, so if you look up grunge texture, they've got all these different grunge textures that you can choose from. And really textures across the board, they do a very good job with. On Splash, you might not have as much success. Adobe stock is also great for things like cities, which you can get a good amount from on Splash, but if we're looking for like a Chicago skyline, for example. These are all great options, even smaller cities, maybe Austin, Texas. You'll still see a good amount of options for pretty much any city that you type in. If you wanna download a photo, all you gotta do is go to license, click on the license button, and it should pop up in your downloads, which you can then save. It'll also save it automatically to your Creative Cloud library so you can pull things directly from there but let's look at unsplash.com real quick not everyone has an adobe account i understand that unsplash is still great let's type in chicago they will have some good skyline shots and these are totally free and unsplash they encourage you to attribute the photographer but these are just photos that any photographer can upload and make them available for wide download use so all you have to do is go to an image, hit that download button. It'll say, say thanks, give a shout out. But again, you don't have to, it is just encouraged. And you can download photos directly there. And again, Unsplash is probably a little bit more limited on what you can find. If we were looking for like a paint texture of sorts, you know, they've got like some options, but it might not be exactly what you're looking for. These are all photos too. In the Adobe's free collection, they will have a lot of Illustrator files, a lot of vector images in addition to just photos. So that kind of makes their texture library a little bit more expansive. But really two great resources, cannot speak highly enough about Adobe's free collection or unsplash.com. So have fun with these. Truly the only two resources you should need for your graphics.